Well, Dr. Long, my wife and I have taken care of our grandchild several times to allow our daughter and son-in-law to go off and have some fun. And our grandson is still on the bottle. And I know I test that bottle all the time. My daughter likes it to be a little cooler. I'm still used to testing it here, so I can't feel it. But this question here, I don't know how I will do this when he starts to get a couple teeth and he's on the soft food. It says, why should I not share the food with my baby if I'm warming any of that food? Mm, I would think I would taste it a little bit. And why do I not share food? Tell me. Uh, well, obviously, transmission of uh, bacteria yeah. Is, yeah. is possible through from uh, mommy's saliva to, to um, uh, your, your baby. Uh, and there, there are different ways of testing food. For example, just take a, a new spoon every time. Now, every there's, time. More, there's more dishes to be done, obviously, but... But it's uh, worth it for the it's, child. It's totally worth it. And yeah. with dishwashers, I guess, it's, it just makes things uh, easier a bit. Um, but uh, that's, that's the, the main thing. Uh, so we don't want to um, give bacteria any chance to travel from, from mommy to, to baby. And um, even if you do it, and if you have good hygiene, you're still reducing that chance. So. We understand that sometimes you're, you're at the mall and the, the pacifier falls on the ground and what do you do? You don't have Whoops. a water source and mommy just puts it in her, her mouth and gives it to baby, which is, is uh, usually done and it's, it's a common thing. I've seen it so many, many times, um, but that's why mommy's hygiene is also important. So Dr. Julie, I mean, what else uh, do we need to know about this? I mean, or have, have we covered it? <laughs> Um, well, just keep in mind, whatever you do will affect your baby, right? So uh, keep things as clean as possible. Um, people don't, um, often doesn't think, they, they don't think they may transmit the bacteria to, to the baby. Um, so again, just practice good oral hygiene and um, just keep that in mind. So whatever you share with your baby, um, you know, make sure you don't um, transmit those bacteria to them. So don't share the food, don't lick the spoon, uh, don't, you know, um, keep the toys as clean as possible, um, and keep yourself in, you know, good oral, oral health. And just to be clear, I mean, if I'm hearing you right, it's not just that we're saying that if you're sick or have a cold or, or you know that you're ill, yeah. not to, that, so even if you're feeling healthy, is it still dangerous well, to transmit speaking, bacteria? Well, it's like the same way, you know, um, this guidelines to how to wash your hands, right? Whether you're sick or you're not sick, wash your hands before you eat, wash mm -hmm. your hands before you prepare food. So the same rule apply here. You don't wait till you're sick, so that you don't that don't wait till you're sick, so that you avoid you know touching baby's food. Um, but just do it on a regular basis. So just good practice to um, to maintain. So I you know I could have bacteria in my mouth that isn't making me sick that might actually you know lead to to the child developing gum disease or cavities or something like well, that. Prevention is the key, right? Okay. So it, it doesn't hurt may not be as practical sometimes, like you, you feel like, okay, let's just test the food quickly, um, but prevention is the key. So try your best to minimize um, transmitting those bacteria to your baby. Okay.